how's it going? It is me, Megan, and I am back with another video. If you guys are new to my channel, I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark and a few other platforms, but mostly Poshmark. And here on YouTube, I like to make reseller content. I'll do what sold videos, I'll do unboxings, I'll do reviews, I'll do all that good stuff. So if that is something you guys are interested in, please make sure to like and subscribe and that way you'll never miss one of my videos. So first and foremost, happy Valentine's Day. I hope you guys have a great day planned. Um, us here in Portland are actually experiencing snow. I guess the first real snowstorm in a couple of years. This is the real sn first snowstorm that me and my fiance have experienced since living here, but we only moved here a year and a half ago. Um, but a lot of things are closed. So we're gonna have a nice little comfy day in as you know, we should anyway. We weren't really planning on going anywhere because of quarantine. So yeah, I'm gonna get into today's sales. I did have a kind of rough week. I did have two days of no sales. And it's been a long time since I've had one no sale day. But yeah, two no sale days is hard. <laughs> I do feel like people were buying a lot last week. I had a really great sale week last, the last full week. And I think it's because people were sort of shopping for Valentine's Day and stuff, and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, slow down this week and it's kind of sad. So I'll just share with you guys what did sell. I did have a lot of sales, but they weren't for very much. So this is for February 7th through the 13th. Um, the first sale I had on Sunday the 7th was this Lululemon tank top. This tank top in general was just a bad buy on my part. I think I honestly spent like 12 bucks on it out of Plato's closet, which was more than I should have. It's a very, very, very outdated tank top. So when someone offered me 20, I accepted and I made $16 after fees. And then I sold these J. Crew white jeans. These sold on ThreadUp. They sold for $40.80 and after fees, I made $12.49. I believe these came from a denim rescue box. I usually don't pick up white denim um, at the bins and I've never at a Goodwill, so that's probably where they came from. Then I had another couple of thread up sales, these Forever 21 shorts that just came from my house in Connecticut. Um, when I was home, I sent in a few boxes of things, um, of clothes I never wear anymore, weren't gonna sell. These shorts were one of them. Uh, they sold for $15.99 and after fees I made $1.92. And then this other piece was one of them, this Forever 21 dress. Sold for $19.99 and after fees I made $3. Then I had a full price buy this week of these Hudson baby bootcut jeans. These were free to me. I think my fiance's sister gave them to me. Either that or they came in a denim rescue box. I don't really pick up Hudson, but she's donated some to me in the past. And it's possible that I've gotten them in a denim rescue box. But I had them for $30 and someone bought them for that. And after fees I made $24. Then I sold this Anthropology the et Vienne, I think is how you say it, uh, gown. Before quarantine, honestly, I'd pick up gowns. Gowns actually did really well for me, and especially if I could find them at the bins or, or like a really good price at Goodwill, I would definitely pick them up, and they were usually a really fast, quick flip for me. And now, of course, with quarantine, there's nowhere for anyone to go, so they have been sitting. Though they do still get a ton of attention. I think now, since weddings have been postponed sort of to like this summer and fall and winter time, I think people are buying them now for like bridesmaids dress or maybe even like elopement dresses. So this sold, someone offered me 55, I accepted and I sold it for $44. Then I sold this men's Nike Elite men's long sleeve. This I got at Goodwill. I think I picked up for like five bucks. It sold for 20 and after fees I made 16. And then on Monday, I had no sales. <laughs> uh, so on Tuesday the 9th, I sold this rag and bone silk blouse, if you remember. This came from my premium DIY rescue box from Thread Up. This did have a hole in the shoulder that my mom sewed up, but then of course I get it back to my apartment to take photos of and it's missing a button that my mom totally could have fixed and I probably could have tried to fix, but I just listed it as is. I did have it listed closer to like, I think 40 or 50. Someone offered me 25 and I think that that was a really good price, especially for the wear to the shirt. Uh, and after fees, I made $20. Then I sold this new tags, a Cote, Ecote, a fringe crossbody purse. It was like a faux suede. Ecote, I think so you say it, is an Urban Outfitters brand. Um, I got this at the bins. It sold for 22 and after fees, I made 17.60. 
And then on Wednesday the 10th, I had another thread up sale. I sold the Charlotte Russe jumpsuit, again, something that was just at my house in Connecticut that I wasn't gonna wear anymore. Sold for $21.99 and after fees, I made $3.52. And then I sold this men's helmet laying button up. I got this in my Jomar men's mixed clothing box. I did a review on that, I think on Wednesday. Um, this wasn't in that review because I sold it after I made the video. So um, this adds to that profit. Sold for 25 and after fees I made $20. Helmet Lang is a really good brand. Um, this didn't sell for as much because there was like a paint stain on it, which was rough, but I still did get a lot of attention to it. And then I sold these new tag XLE, the label pant. These came from the bins. I didn't know the brand um, when I bought them. And then I took them home, I did a little bit more research and it's a brand that doesn't exist anymore, but it was started by like an influencer. I don't know who, um, it's not an influencer that I have ever heard of, um, but she doesn't do like the clothing anymore. So yeah, it's sort of like, uh, hard to find because you can't just buy it online anymore. Uh, I had them listed for like 50, but they have been sitting for a while. Someone offered me 30 and I accepted and I made $24 after fees. And then I was able to take a lot of photos this week and make a lot of new listings, especially I had Friday off because of the snow. So I've had like a four day weekend for the most part. So I've been able to like go through my death pile and it's almost all gone, which is amazing and shocking at the same time. Um, so there's a couple of things that sold fast when I got them listed. This was one of them. It was a Zara pink girl sweater. This actually came in a woman's moose clothing box that I got from ThreadUp, um, but it was a girl's kid's piece. Sold for 10 and after fees I made $4.59. Then I sold this Forever 21 contemporary dress. This I got at the bins. I just really loved the way that it looked. It was a wrap dress. It was long. It had ruffles. It was a gorgeous color. I don't usually pick up Forever 21 even at the bins, but this I thought was a substantial enough piece that I could sell for a little bit more money. It sold for 20 and after fees I made $16. And then on Thursday, I had another no sale day. And this, I really didn't realize until it was Friday that I didn't sell anything on Thursday. And I was just like, oh my God, because Thursdays are usually so good. But I'm sure this week people were also sort of spending money on Valentine's Day presents and probably like last second Valentine's Day presents. So I totally understand that they weren't really buying used <laughs> this week. Um, then on Friday the 12th, I sold these Truffle Collection vegan leather boots. These I got in my last shoe box, I believe from ThreadUp. They're really cute, they're a good size. They did have more wear than I noticed at first. Um, but they're like a European ASOS brand shoe. They sold for 32 and after fees I made 25.60. Then I sold this new tag Style & Co London Top. This was free to me. It was a donation from my fiance's sister back in November. Sold for $23 and after fees I made $18.40. Style & Co I believe is just like a Macy's brand I want to say. It's not something I would ever pick up but this was free to me. It was new with tags and I thought it had a little bit more to it. It was like a London themed shirt. And then I sold these vintage Tommy Hilfiger jeans. These I was hoping to get a little bit more for, but I had already had two no sale days. So I was fine with the $30 offer I got and I sold them and I made $24 on Poshmark. These I got at the bins and they were straight up from like 1998 or something like that. Um, they had like the date like on the label. And then I sold this H&M girls leaf print skirt. This was actually a full price buy. This was something I was probably gonna end up redonating in the future. I got it around Thanksgiving, it didn't sell. I'm surprised it sold now because it's very fall, but happy nonetheless. It sold for $10 and after fees, I made $7.05. And that I picked up at the bins. I only ever get my kids stuff from the bins. <laughs> I've never like paid up for any of it. Um, it's mostly just like I'm going through the bins and I find something too cute that I can't like leave behind. So I picked it up. And then I sold this H&M tank top on ThreadUp. Again, a piece that I, that I used to own. Didn't need it anymore. It sold for $7.99 and after fees, I made 48 cents. And then I had a pretty decent sales day on Saturday, which was good. I sold these Gloria Vanderbilt jeans on ThreadUp. Um, Gloria Vanderbilt, again, is not anything that I would pick up. Um, I have sold it a couple of times because my fiance's 
mom gave me donations and they were new with tag and they were a good size and I was able to flip them I think for 15 ish dollars but this pair I believe I got in a thread up mixed denim box <laughs> and it sold for 1280 and after fees I made a dollar 54 and then I sold this new tag Michael Kors sweater on Poshmark and this sweater I picked up it was new with tags it was from TJ Maxx and I only got it for like 15 bucks I just really love the style of it and it did have some wool in it um, otherwise, I've said it a million times, I hate selling Michael Kors, but I actually do pretty well with it on ThreadUp. So if this never sold for me, I would have eventually sent it into ThreadUp and it definitely would have sold on there. Um, but I was able to sell it for 50 and after fees I made $40. Then I sold this Eddie Bauer Snowflake, I believe wool sweater, something I picked up at Goodwill again around Christmas. It didn't sell, so when someone offered me 19, I was happy to take it. And I made $15.20 after fees. Then I sold this Splendid Camo Sweater. Splendid, I believe, is like a Nordstrom House brand. It is. It can be pretty pricey retail. Um, it was really cute. Camo is always a good thing to pick up. People love camo. This was something that I got from a Jomar mixed women's clothing box. And I had heard that Splendid did really well on ThreadUp, so I just sent it into ThreadUp without trying to sell it myself. This was before all the changes and I just got it back as a reclaim. I posted it and pretty much the next day it sold for what I had it listed for, which was $30. So I definitely should just sold it myself. Um, that's fine, sold for 30. After fees, I made $24. And then the last thing I sold was this Hannah Anderson jacket. It was a cute heart print jacket. It did have more wear than I saw when I picked it up at the bin. Um, I did just get around to cleaning it, so I didn't have it up for Valentine's Day. But the same day I listed it at like 25, someone offered me 15 and I just decided to accept. It's a decently big item for me to keep in my inventory. And it's a kid's jacket, we're going out of winter. And again, I missed that Valentine's Day, <laughs> like cut off um, for the heart print. All right, so that was my week again. A little disappointing, especially after having such a good week last week. But I'm hoping now that it's sort of past a holiday again that people will be buying for themselves. Um, so yeah, my gross total this week was $580.56, which is quite less than my almost $1,000 gross money that I made last week. Um, but then after fees of $189.17, I net $391.39. And that's still pretty good. I say it all the time, I like to be around that $400 mark. This is a little less, but it's only like $8 and some odd cents less. So I can't really complain. But yeah, it's nice to have those really great weeks mixed in with these okay weeks and make it really worth it and balance stuff out. Let me know how this week has been for you guys. Has it slowed down for you at all? Like I said, it definitely has for me. Hopefully you'll pick it up again. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a great Valentine's Day. Hope you have a great time sourcing and selling and I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye.